turn a decent website around in a week. It needs time, it needs research, it needs planning, it needs you know, good design, good code, uh, and testing. And that all takes time. So um, I think companies need to just to do a little bit of research. And, and the, the, the best way to do that really is to uh, sort of assess their, their um, the company's portfolio. That's the easiest thing to do from a layman's point of view. You, you, can, you can directly see from a portfolio um, the, the, the breadth of experience they have, the type of clients they've been working with, what the clients are saying about their experience with them, you know, whether these websites have, have actually met their objectives and so forth. And, um, and then, you know, from a design point of view, do you like their style? Are all the websites very different? Because every company is different. The, the, the website should be different. Um, you know, it's too, it's, the basics are so easy. And there's so many ways of getting a website out there, you know, using a template or uh, some sort of open source um, tool, um, you know, and, and that it just doesn't meet the requirements of your business because you're unique, so your, your website should be uh, designed specifically for your needs. Very rarely, I think, can you apply a template to, to everything. And there's, you know, that should be evident from looking at the portfolio. Um, you know, do all the websites look the same? From a coding perspective, it's much more difficult for a layman to uh, assess, but there are some clues, you know, like good code means that your pages will load faster, you won't see any errors or pop-ups, or pages under construction or missing links, or things like that. Um, things that clients ask for, which they shouldn't really be asking for, and we end up trying to convince them otherwise, which is things like, um, you know, a simple website intro. Um, many clients I guess still want that. They want some fancy intro, some something flying across the screen, some music coming up. And you know, from a usability point of view, it's just a big no no. You know, no one watches these intros and, and all you're really doing is you're adding an extra click for people to skip the intro. Um, so they, you know, they shouldn't they shouldn't be done. And uh, back, you know, music on your website shouldn't be done because um, you, again you're adding more complexity. Generally, people want to switch the music off because they're listening to their own music, or for whatever reason. You know. So there's some there's some usability issues, which which uh, you know, because the technology can do it. People want to people want it, but you know, it's, just, it's not advisable because it actually it's more you know more bandwidth usage to have fancy animations and things like that. But the key at the end of the day is to keep it simple and to make easy for people to find the information they look for as, as quick as possible so that they can get on with their business. You know, no one's got time to sit around and uh, admire your beautiful website. They're there for a reason.